All right, so this is my shake tutorial. These are just the shakes I use on a daily. If you guys need any plugins, my user will be on screen or in the description, depending on what platform you're watching this on. And yeah, let's just get to it. So first you want to add an adjustment layer. As, add S underscore underscore shake. I'm gonna try to keep this tutorial as short and simple as possible. So yeah, pause if needed. So you want to change the frequency to 2.5. Uh, keyframe the amplitude, make it 2.5 as well, and go to the end of the clip, or like longer, it depends on what you want, but we'll go a little bit longer, uh, we'll go like right, right here, it really doesn't matter, um, it just depends on how long you want the shake to last. You want to go to X shake and make it around 170, I like 168, it's my sweet spot, I don't touch Y or Z, I don't always use tilt shake as well but if you want to, you can make this 4.6. You can make this around 8, 0.85. Make this 0.25. And maybe turn this up a bit until void frequency. Once you've done that, you want to highlight both of your keyframes. Press F9, go into your graph, and you can graph it to something similar like this, pretty much how it looks uh, also I use um, I use flow it's just an easier graphing software or extension kind of thing so I use this graph you guys can copy it if you have flow um, I will also show you how it looks like in the graphing this is what it looks like I'm gonna try to replicate it but yeah that's pretty much it for the shape so now what we can do is actually just copy this shape and paste it onto the, to the next clip we're gonna do something that's called a pre-shake, so you wanna move it two frames. Two frames is recommended, you can do more than this. You wanna go to the start of it and make the amplitude zero now. And um, yeah, so if you think that your shake looks a little off or you don't want it to be the same, you can also change the seed. The seed is like what I like to change. Um, so I don't, I have a little bit of, of like, pattern or kind of like difference in my shakes and it really just depends on what you want so you just gotta kind of look for what shakes you like so I kind of like this this is pretty the shakes are pretty soft in my opinion um, I usually just mess around with the amplitude so maybe sometimes I'll even do 3.5 it might not shakes will always look different on, on different clips so it might not look yeah it might be a little too strong on this clip but uh, yeah, that's pretty much my shake tutorial. If you guys have any questions, um, just feel free to DM me. If you guys need any plugins, also DM me. And yeah.